Hey everybody, okay, we're gonna try something new here. This is called Maze. I'm blocking out the title of the game. M-A-I-Z-E. Don't know if this is gonna be a problem place for my camera. Hopefully not. Okay, so I know it says resume game here, but I just clicked new game because I thought it was weird that there was no music on this screen. So I hit new game just to see, make sure my sounds were working properly. But I haven't actually played anything yet, so we're going to hit New Game again. And see what happens. Because I, I just thought, really? There's no home screen music for the game? So I don't know very much about this game, other than it's like a, a point-and-click adventure style game. I did see this corn people walking away from me. So now, can I use the controller? Kind of reminds me of Firewatch. Um, can I go into the corn? No, that's basically as far as you can go, right? Okay, so it kind of looks like it wants me to stick to the path. So we're going to do that. Right? You can't go off in the corn. No. Those are boundaries there. Okay. What's this? Corn. I don't know what the buttons are going to be. Nothing yet. Looks like. It'll teach me as we go, I suppose. I don't think it's scary. Oh, there's a silo. Here's something. What? Oh, the water is this way. Yeah, okay. The river, yeah. House is that way. What is this? When the pointing hand icon appears, click the left mouse button to interact. So that's going to be the X. Slot for a key. Okay. Let's carry on. Press escape or P to enter the pause menu. Maze indeed. Pressing Q does absolutely nothing. Okay. That would seem to be the case. So pressing, would they say P? Okay, pause. So right now we're just learning the controls. English Muffin, you did a great job picking up that item. A new path is now open for you. Items you can use will be added to your inventory. Story items will be added to your folio. Item added to folio. English Muffin, hard as granite. This muffin is most definitely nowhere near fit for consumption. Despite how much you try, all you've done is given yourself a headache. Oh, I, okay, so this is like the, the default item that I have. 
something flashing over here. Uh, what else? Drawer. Drawer. Oh, what did I do? How did I do that? Welcome note. Item 1 out of 75. A note lazily scribbled includes a stock reading and encourages the reader to enjoy the complimentary snack on the desk. Notes to the reader to mind the boxes and also says, open the big door and we'll probably say hello. So was that the door? Okay, how do I... How do I scroll through this stuff? Maybe once I have more items, I can do that. Okay, carrying on. Press E to examine your equipped item. So that's... No, this. This is going to be my E button. Should I go to the house? It's over here. Okay, so the windmill is this way. Mind the boxes. Mega oranges. Okay, we're going to the house. I hope. Press the space bar to look at items stored in your folio. Okay, so the door is that way. Ooh. Oh, I found something. Broken shovel handle. So I grab it. Equip inventory by using the scroll wheel or the one in the two keys. So, broken shovel handle. Okay, so that way. More boxes, and that says to the windmill. So my way is blocked. Can I use the shovel? Push the boxes over? No. Okay, we're going to the house. I keep saying that, I know, but then I get distracted by a shiny object. Key for the front door. There's a meat grinder there. What does this say? Okay. To the barn. You open the farmhouse door.
An invoice for a commissioned wooden statue. Cost is in the hundreds of thousands. Items on the list include chopping down a large oak tree, carved statue out of oak tree, and hospital bills for injuries sustained chopping down the oak tree. It's dark in here. I'm glad this isn't a scary game. Switch, light switch. No. Can't see anything. What's this? Fruit crate. Oh. Okay, now I have a fruit crate for some reason. Bathtub plug. Oh, was I supposed to do that? Open the medicine cabinet. What's this? Nail clippers. Vigilant as you are when it comes to personal hygiene, the only two things these clippers will do for you are grip something lodged in a wall and give you a 100% tetanus guarantee, and that's it. So how do I... Uh... Despite what the name would suggest, this crate was specifically used to hold a large number of pine cones in order to start a collection. The collection currently sits at zero. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Broken shovel handle. Completely useless for shoveling dirt, but helpful if you want to tip something over. Well, maybe I was supposed to use it to push the boxes. You immediately think of the wardrobe on the second floor of the farmhouse because you didn't particularly like how it looked at you and would like to ruin its day. I guess that's a major hint. I'm supposed to use this to push over the wardrobe. I haven't even been on the second floor. What's this? Ah, I'm pushing the wrong button. Rancid corn oil. Though the smell is strong enough to overcome a herd of yaks, you could use it to loosen something you need to remove. For some re reason, an image of a gloved hand pops into your head, leading directly to you walking straight into a wall. A gloved hand. What is this? Something is jammed inside. Can I use my uh, my nail clippers to get it out? No. What's in here? Whoa, there's something. What's going on here? Press C to crouch. Concealed switch. Unlock secret door, making it much less secret. This? Oh. That's not creepy at all. Uncrouch. All right, it's down here. something or something else I think where's this set of stairs go oh where's the other set of stairs go Cellar there. All right. Um, what was shining at me? This. A fuse box. Missing a fuse. So I need to find a fuse. And then maybe I'll be able to see stuff better. When everything is lit up, assuming that lights everything up. Okay. Back up we go through the secret door. Can't, don't know how to get that out yet. Um, don't know why I plugged the sink yet. I hear something. How do I get over there? A really boring mystery novel. 
Boring novel. Night danger. Whoops. Night danger. A Mick Murphy mystery. Having no talent at the genre, the author mistakenly revealed the murderer's identity on the first page and spent the rest of the, of the novel outlining a story about the detective buying a pair of pants. <laughs> I can't do anything with these switches. I think I need to repair the fuse before I can have any light in here. Okay, up we go. Ooh. Aha. Looks like it wants me to put my crate here. And then... It said I should use this to tip the sucker over, right? Tip wardrobe over with a broken shovel handle. Oh, I use that for leverage. Okay, so I can't pick these things up anymore. And then, what, this goes upstairs? Alright, let's finish looking around on this floor first. Is this open? No. Boxes, drawer, anything? Anything? I don't see anything in here. Okay, and what's this? A bobby pin. Extremely useful for picking a lock, but you mistakenly thought it was a pencil and wrote a very detailed account of your day up to that point, and you didn't notice there was no ink until a few hours later. Bobby pin, so that'd be good for picking a lock or maybe getting that thing out of the meat grinder? I don't know. Let's see. we're going up then right another sink that one looks like it already has a plug in it can't open that medicine chest as far as I can see should I be crouching more Are the things that are gonna become visible if I crouch doesn't look like it okay Here we are up here. Here's something. What's that? I like that the things you can interact with are highlighted. Okay, what is this? An item can be placed here. Mallet. What do I need the mallet for? Smash something perfectly flat with this trusty tool, but remember, you can never unflatten things with this. It is the mallet's greatest weakness. Whoa, I just start looking at all these things here. What is this? Looks like carrots that are shapes of people or something. Mutant carrots! Okay, is that it? So something can be placed there. So what does the shape of this look like? It looks like a... I don't know what that looks like. Okay, let's try, um, I don't know, let's try, ooh, look at him, creepy gnome. So I haven't found a fuse. Mash it. I hear something, what is this? Burnt lab report.
Burnt lab report. Much of it can't be read, but the words abject failure appear several times. So does hurt feelings, sentient corn stalks, and why did we do this? It looked like there were some corn people walking away when I first woke up. Oh, it's a thigh master. Oh, this is the gym. all there is to do here. I don't think I have the right item for there. Okay, down we go. Anything under the bed? Bash. Well, there's more than one of those circles. Okay, back to the meat grinder. Oh, that's cute. Um, bobby pin. Is this the shape of? thing that needs to go upstairs? It might be, huh? Okay, what have I got? This? No. No, I don't have the thing. Whatever it is to get out of there, I don't have the thing. Um... outside. This takes me to the chicken coop. No matter how many times you press it, Q still does nothing. <laughs> what is this? I haven't seen this. What is this? The outhouse? Oh, this looks like something. A rusty nail jammed in the wall. Ah, a rusty nail pulled out of the wall with the nail clippers. All right. Progress. An item was added to the folio. Rusty nail. For some reason, the first thing that pops into your head is that it w would be a good conductor of electricity possibly as a fuse oh we can use this nail as a fuse to bridge the gap for the electricity oh, okay mediocre rock this is a rock you found near an outhouse you don't know why you have it it is absolutely mediocre in every way possible its name is Chauncey okay so now let's do that maybe with this nail, I'll be able to see better in the dark rooms and find something. So let's go back in the cellar and put this in for to bridge the gap as a substitute fuse. Oh, you can quick walk. Okay. Okay, here we go. Missing a fuse. Used rusty nails a fuse against safety regulations. Yeah, okay. And then... Restored power to the farmhouse. It is slightly less dark than it was before. Alright, good. 
So can I see things now? This room seems about the same, but the, there were some other rooms that were quite a bit darker. The fuse doesn't sound good. Aha! What is this? CD player. Open CD. CD player. You picked up a CD. Good for you. A new path is open to you to the barn and the silo. Oh, okay. And, um, didn't that thing need a CD? That one panel that I opened? Oh. It's a homely woman. American Gothic. Ooh, nice, uh, nice lamp. Fancy schmancy. Alright, so that was helpful, right? And then there was another room over here that was dark, right? So can we see anything in here now? I don't think so. Okay, so let's go. We can go to the barn or we can go to... So that's the barn and then we can go to that panel thing, right? Which is this? All right, let's try and put the CD in over there. See what happens. This way, yeah? It was like the first thing that we saw. Well, I'm glad I can fast travel. This way? I don't know. Well, I hope I don't go in a circle. Okay, this thing, right? So let's put the CD in here. That worked. It looks like a DNA strand. Slot for a hand. Okay, here we go. Uh, what's this way? The water, yeah. I wanna go to the barn. Getting lost in the corn. Children of the corn! The corn maze! We'll be back in question mark minutes. Did I check the car? Fiero or whatever that is. Oh. Barn. I want barn. So was this blocked off with those orange boxes before? Hold shift key to sprint. Now you tell me I can fast travel. If you're stuck, remember to press E to examine your equipment for clues. Are you saying I'm stuck? Great kidney cure. All right, let's go around the outside first. There's more stuff that way. All right, we're going into the barn. Is the house sure is foggy in here or dusty anything anything in the stalls nope horseshoes and what do they call that tack trappings for the the bit and everything that you give the horse oh can I jump looks like I should be able to climb this stuff is there a jump button 
Here's something. What's this? Corn of the Wild, a book outlining the differences and similarities of corn species across the globe. Several chapters also discuss the color yellow. A few species are circled in red pen, while no, no, no appears in many places across the entire book in blue pen. Hmm. Born to be wild. What is this? Stairs then? Up into the hayloft. Ooh. Gonna really clean up now. No, I want this. Stop it. I want this. How do I eat my item? No. Stop it. There, there's a pile of something or other you can sweep up with this, but you already knew that. What you didn't know was that this broom is haunted. This will not affect your adventure in any way as the ghost is currently away on business. There's a pile of something you need to sweep up. What is this? Here's something. One half of a diagram. Oh, it's like Leonardo da Vinci's Man in Motion. A diagram torn in half contains very complicated looking equations scribbled in orange pen, a drawing of a person, and a DNA helix. Looks very important. You tried to eat it at first, but changed your mind when you couldn't find any salt. Okay. A pile of something you need to sweep up. There's a glove. They had mentioned something about a glove before. There's lots of gloves. Looks like scarecrow parts. Ugh. Oh, what's this? Oh, weight room. <laughs> pile of something to sweep up was there something on the floor in the kitchen or something that I didn't notice So, should we check back behind the barn before we go to the house? Let's do that. We didn't check the silo, right? We're going to the silo. What is this? So this says like electricity is that way? What's this way? Can I use the bobby pin on this to pick it? Hey! Let me in. Oh. Let me in. Open the silo door. Oh, this looks like a pile of something to sweep up. Okay, so what is this? Oh, what is that? Do I need to open this other door so I can see through the telescope? Okay, let's look at this first. A weathered, tattered blueprint. Although it's hard to make out, this blueprint looks like it's for the construction of a very large and poorly planned facility with a farm situated on top of it. The facility itself actually set an architectural record for having the largest number of corridors that lead absolutely nowhere. Why did we build all of this? So is that what the, 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 um, the secret door leads to? 
Okay, so old telescope. Oh. Oh, that's a folio item. Manufactured about a century ago, this telescope's effective range is the tops of low-hanging trees. Possibly because its lenses were put on backwards. Looks like it was used frequently with varying results. Okay, so I think I need my broom here. Broom. I don't... I have... I need the broom. Oh, here we go. Broom. Cleared a pile of corn kernels with a broom, and then I found... Needle nose pliers. All right, that's going to help me get the thing out of the the meat grinder. So let's go back to the house now. Or should we go this way and see just so we know what's here? Maybe we should just explore this to see what's here. Stop pressing Q. I'm not pushing Q. Okay, so here's some more orange boxes. So that's to limit my progress until I get far enough in the game, I'm assuming. Here's a thing. What does this do? What is this? A very fashionable... No! I want stop. Very fashionable fedora. A very fashionable fedora worn by a very fashionable person. Due to this, you're not putting it on your head as you have not earned the right. I'm not very fashionable, that's true. On the inner tag... The owner wrote his name, Fernando. Can you hear the drums, Fernando? Oh, here's something. A charred name tag. Is this Fernando's name tag? Fernando! It is Fernando's name tag. It took you several hours of staring, but you managed to deduce that the name tag, in fact, belongs to the dead person it was near, and that his name is Fernando. It took you several more hours to notice that the dead person was a lab assistant and then five more minutes to realize you were trying to read the thing upside down the whole time. Okay, staff identification. Looks like it says 1980. Fernando the lab assistant. Okay, what's this? Toolbox. Really? I can't get in the toolbox? Oh! Oh, this is a dead guy here. I didn't even see him. What the hell? Is that you, Fernando? How did I not see him? I'm standing here. This is where I picked up the hat? I didn't even know his dead body's behind me. Do you want your hat back, Fernando? Okay, what is this? do I do with this? Ew! A gloved, severed hand. Oh, do I need his hand for that? The spot where you put the hand? Okay. <laughs> I don't want to carry his hand. What does it say about his hand? No, this. Gloved, severed hand. A severed hand perfectly preserved in the glove that encases it. It could come in handy if you could give yourself a hand and find a way to loosen and get that glove off. The first pun was intended, but not the second. Okay, so the hand is preserved inside this glove. This is just going to say you can use this. Ah. You saw something in that sausage grinder that could be removed with these pliers, right? Okay, you know this because you spent an uncomfortable amount of time trying to pull it out with your hands, making no progress whatsoever, right? And what is the corn oil good for again? Loosen something you need to remove. For some reason, an image of a glove. Okay, so we got to use the corn oil to get the glove off of the hand so where are we going now let's 
Let's go back to the house and we're gonna get the sausage grinder item out for sure. And then maybe, what's this way? What is this? Tractor? Oh, I can't go over this way. There's a tractor here. Okay, so... I know. Okay, so the sink that we put the plug in, we'll put the corn oil and the try and put the glove in there and see what happens. Because why else would you plug the sink if you weren't going to put liquid in there? Let's see if it lets me put the liquid in first. Honey, I'm home! Where was that bathroom? There? Okay, old sink. Poured rancid corn oil in the sink. It smells worse than imagined. And glove? Loosen the glove from the severed hand. Slightly disgusting, yeah, I would say. So now I have the hand. <laughs> That's creepy looking. Go back to the pliers, please. And what is in here? What is in here? Pulled a warped key fob. Oh yeah, that's definitely the same shape as the, the item slot up in the attic. Oh, the DNA. So is this the key then? This warp key fob would be useful if you could flatten it back to its original shape. At first you tried to do this by staring very hard at it. It didn't work, so you set out to find a tool that will do the job much better. Okay, so I'm going to go up to the attic. That's where it was, right? It wasn't in the basement. The, uh, the work table was in the, in the attic, right? Here we go, work table. And we're gonna put the item here. Okay, placed warp key fob on the bench. And mallet. Aha! The key fob has been smashed good and flat. So now what does it say about the key fob? No, oh, I keep pushing the wrong thing. Key fob has been smashed so perfectly flat that you can't help but toss it like a frisbee to see how far it goes. You regret your decision immediately. So does this thing go in the middle? doesn't really look like the same shape as that DNA slot, but maybe it is. All right, so we're going to try to find... We have the hand. I'm pretty sure the hand will work for sure. And then we'll go from there. So we want to go this way. Yeah, to the door. I don't know what else to call it. I am sprinting, yes. Do 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 do. Ah! Looked away and got spun around in the corn. Maze! This is a pretty cool game, though. It has a sense of mystery, but without any scariness to this point. Where the hell am I going? I hope I didn't get turned around. Oh, here it is. Alright, let me look at this thing better. So it looks like a bunker. Okay, so does this actually go there? It does. Wow, I wouldn't have thought that. Okay, slot for a hand. Oh, cutscene. Okay. Must answer a riddle before you're allowed to enter. <coughs> a doctor and his son are in a car accident. No, not that one. Oh, I Tell know that one. The guy who hung himself with an ice block. You just gave that one away. Answer this one. What animal walks on four legs in the morning? That one's boring. I know that one too. I'm riddle president today. I get to pick. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh yeah, 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 that's true. Why is he oh, president every time? No, I've always been a bit unclear on the election. Oh, we should Where's just get the answer. <coughs> 
An empty bus pulls up to a stop and ten people get on. At the next stop, five people get off and twice as many people get on as at the first stop. At the third stop, 25 get off. So, which one of us is named Jim? What? Am I Jim? I thought he was Jim. No, that's Bill. Where's Bill? Your Bill. Oh, that's right. You may as well enter as we sort this all out. Let's hope you're better than the last one. Oh, and watch out for our brother down there. He's a bit odd. Well, that was unexpected, to say the least. All I have is my English muffin now. What's going on? Can I look around here? Is there... Oh, okay, What? I should read these. What is this? Bob, I told you to fix this elevator weeks ago. It takes hours for everyone to get in here because of your stupid experiment. Moron. Cordially, Ted. Okay, what does this say? Hiya, Ted. Don't worry about it. I'll reset the elevator after a few more months of data. We overbought on food pellets and have to get rid of them somehow. What? Okay, I'm supposed to push this? You pressed a button. What is this? You ate a stale pellet. Oh my god, it's like an experiment. I have to push a button and eat a pellet like a like a rat in a maze. How many times do I have to do this? <laughs> so, let me read this again. I'll reset the elevator after a few more months of data. We overbought on food pellets and have to get rid of them somehow. So they're making people eat the food pellets to use the elevator? Okay, I can't push the button anymore. So hopefully I did what I was supposed to do. Oh. I didn't realize there was a counter up here. Zero. Nine, eight. Oh, am I supposed to push it at zero? The elevator begins to move. <laughs> well, hello. Okay, I'm going to stop the game here because it looks like we've entered a new area. Area, yeah. So, uh, we'll stop here and resume this later on and see where this leads us to. But this is a pretty interesting game. It's got some intrigue. Don't exactly know what's going on here. There's corn people in the game. Maze. So, it's a, a play on corn maze and corn maze. But it is funny like it has uh some humor in all the descriptions of the items you find which is interesting keeps it from just being a stale find items and solve puzzles it's entertaining along the way so it's pretty good i'm enjoying it so we'll see uh where this takes us anyway thanks for watching i hope you liked it if you liked it push the like button press subscribe and um we'll see this series through to the end i don't know how long it'll be um, I heard it's not a very long game, so I'm thinking maybe we'll be six parts at the most, depending on how stupid I am at solving the puzzles. So, anyway. Okay, thanks for checking it out. Have a good one, everybody. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.